Hello, Crix is here and welcome to this week's video. Okay, so as you saw from the title, there is no hiding anymore. So I'm gonna unbox the Japanese Turner Aquila Gouache colors today. It will be super chill and just super cozy video. So grab yourself a drink tea, coffee, anything. I wish I could give you some, so. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna talk about um, unboxing gouache and showing the process and how I swatch as well. I, I really like swatching videos, so I don't know. I just, sometimes I feel I will film whatever I like to watch myself. So I really like watching unboxing and swatching videos. So this is it, I don't know. Also, I was curious, so maybe if you have any video ideas or anything you would love to see from my channel, please leave a comment down below. And with that being said, also please like this video and subscribe. See you in unboxing part. Hello to this unboxing part. Okay. So, these are Turner Acryl Gouache Japanese color. So these are the tubes I got. They are used and hopefully they are all right. I just hope they are not completely dried up. How oh, 22, 22 colors. I think this is, yeah, this is completely dried up. So I will need to check which ones are good and which are not and hopefully yeah something is in here <laughs> this is dried up this is good so I got these ones for 12 pounds including shipping so it's like buying three paint tubes and I hope they are somewhat good. Yeah, this is good as well. Um, I think I will do like some what's watching with them as well. They have somewhat uh, like texture with the paints and when the paints dry on the paper it feels like sandpaper a little bit. Yeah. Now I'm just checking each and every one just to no, uh, this is dried up as well. Yeah, this is completely dried up. So two colors already are dried up. And <laughs> I have dark uh, yellow and I have this one. So well, what a lu lucky day. So there's something in here. Good. Oh, this might be dried up as well. Yep, it looks like it's almost dried up. I will check it later, but probably. Okay, this is good. Um, this is tricky. Okay, well, we'll keep that in mind. Yeah, so far three are out of the list. Okay, perfect. Um, so as I said, I have some of the colors. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna swatch all of them and check these ones, but I think these are completely dried up. And yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna write all the names and then I will be right back, okay? Okay, hello back. I, I just checked all the tubes and I arranged them by color, gradient and I also wrote all the names up here so I don't need to show how I write the names. So I will start with the pale yellow. It's uh, used quite a lot as you can see. But there is still some something inside, so um, yeah, I will squeeze it just a tiny bit. 
Oh, it's uh Okay, it's working. It's working. The only thing I want is not to be too watery. I want for pigment to be seen. Okay, I will move this one up here. So it's okay, it's working. So this is the first color. And maybe it's a little bit too much butter actually. Trying to put straight on the tube. So it doesn't actually look like super pale yellow. It is lighter than the regular yellow color, but <laughs> I thought it will be more lighter. Okay, so this is the first one. Next one, it's deep yellow, and this is the color I actually have. You can see by this color. I uh, I wanted to try these gouache before, so I bought four of them, and luckily, the four colors I bought are <laughs> two of them are really low in this set, so I can basically swap them. But yeah, I like this color. It's. Um, super warm, deep yellow and it's looking a little bit like yellow ochre to be honest as well but it's really lovely color um, yeah okay then we have strong orange this will be really interesting I really like swatching color I know it's like <laughs> um just not the most important but yeah yeah the color is it's quite dry but i will try to reactivate with water and so <laughs> it's really beautiful orange it's not <laughs> i don't know for me strong orange would be something like super vibrant but this looks like the orange I would put on top of fox for example it's really beautiful I don't have this kind of color so it's really beautiful and I will show close up like close up later on but you can see like the texture that these paints are giving and it's really gorgeous okay what do we have next next we have yellow red so it looks from the label that it's quite red but maybe it's not that red this doesn't look like yellow red <laughs> this looks like red <laughs> it's so strange it doesn't represent the... Uh, the color names doesn't feel like the ones I'm putting on top of paper. Like this is not strong orange and this is definitely not yellow red. So that's, that's really funny. We'll see how it will compare to just color named red. <laughs> so what is red color? The classic red color. Is it like cadmium red? Something like that? Okay. And this is uh, like cold red, I would say. And this maybe, yeah, it's darker. And I think if I would mix it with uh, white, it would make beautiful pink tone. Next we have red purple and I am not a fan of purples but it's maybe good that we have purple here because it can be used also not only just painting straight from the tube but like adding small drop to the opposite color of the wheel. To make the color duller. And this color 
is this job is half used so it's not the most used ones then we will start with pinks and I actually don't like pinks <laughs> and I don't like using pinks in my artworks but I like dusty pinks like not the bright ones but the ones who are really like baby pinks or something like that so I think this would be this will look lovely and I'm really intrigued by this color so we'll see how that one will look I will just grab a piece of paper <coughs> let's start with the um, pale pink this is also half used I'm not sure where I will put it but it's super soft pink and it's such a lovely color but now we are swatching um, <clears throat> this is deep pink and yeah actually what I wanted also to say about these colors <clears throat> they don't have like pure pigment all the pigments are mixed up so for example this color there are three different pigments inside and I think the lowest was two pigments and the highest was four pigments in one so it's really specific colors that wow this is also beautiful it looks really well with the previous one maybe I should use pinks <laughs> I usually when I think of pinks I think of like super bright colors but this is if I was using pinks this would be the pink I would use really dusty really dull pink oh this is so beautiful <clears throat> okay this will be the red brown i was really intrigued we'll see how this will look and this is almost full which is amazing because it looks good yeah yep definitely it got like this warm tint to it and it's really unique color to be honest I, I could see why it's red red brown I think what I will do, you, you see some of this enough, I will just move this one and I think I will move the colors closer. It's easier to see the colors, I hope you don't mind. And I might do this one so it's, I don't know, somewhat interesting, wait, or a little bit, I will zoom a little bit out. The next one will be beige. And there are a lot of brown colors in this set which I'm really happy because I like browns and there are a lot of greens which is also really amazing so I'm just I'm so happy about this set uh, that I got it because I checked and the, the retail price for this set is like 70 or 80 pounds oh, this is amazing color it reminds me of um, of one of my acrylic markers I use for darker skin tone and bleach titanium yeah I think they're quite similar I think this one the Japanese gouache it's more pinkish and this is more colder tone it's really interesting though I like this color okay next one it's deep beige so it's an even darker beige color um, I'm super excited to see how this one works it's a lovely color I think this can be also a good hair color for my characters it's like a dark blonde color I guess it could be in skin tone as well or it can be like animal color as well the next one will be yellow brown 
and I really like how the label looks but you never know with them this looks like yellow walker so if you ever wanted to buy yellow brown you will get yellow walker instead <laughs> next color is brown I guess warmer brown than other ones the next brown color we have is grayish brown so we'll see if it will be like cooler tone or it has black pigment inside so black brown and red so maybe it will be warm dark yep dark warm brown i can see a little bit of undertones of violety red color and compared to just brown color it looks definitely warmer and reddish okay so that's grayish brown and the last brown we have is uh, burnt amber so classic uh, classic brown <laughs> so there is raw umber and burnt umber and raw umber it's more greenish and burnt umber it's more reddish that's how I would explain them because yeah there too it's the same with raw and burnt sienna as well and this is like I think classic brown color because when I was doing oil painting I think all of us had burnt umber it's really neutral and you can mix it with different tints of colors and get desired warm warmness to it I hope the camera is picking up these colors because uh, they're looking quite different from each other but I'm not sure if the camera is like noticing these changes okay the next one I'm super excited because uh, it's pale green and I was actually going to buy this from Jackson's but it was um, out of stock for over six months or something so i'm just really curious why this is out of stock for such a long time it is also with red brown the same i wanted to buy red brown as well yep lovely color it's cold cold pale green i would say then we will have yellow green which will be more warmer tone so it's this one and actually the labels are quite good um, in this brand I guess like if you see these ones they look quite similar it's the same with this one and this brown it's different and it's the first one so I know some brands don't have good labels but so far they're looking really close to what they are in, in the swatching this book. Okay, we have a little bit difficulties. This is a little bit dried up. And this is such a beautiful color. It's almost nothing in there though, which is quite sad. But um, now I know how this looks. So if I need, I can buy this from Jackson's and or like if, if this is maybe this is useful you can also use this swatching for your own references so let's explore your yeah, olive green so oh it's working from here as well some of the colors the lids are already dried up so i'm using straight from the tube but not for this one Oh, this is also a really pretty color I feel it's 
duller version of the previous one and darker. And the next one will be deep green and I have this color already but I will swatch it here as well. So with deep green it's it's more pine green I would say. It's a colder version. Let's start with a pale blue. I think if you're into pale colors then pale pink, pale green and pale blue would be your colors. Like these three. This, this and this. I love this color. It's really pretty. But actually, maybe I... I'm not the pale person. I, I'm not like drawing illustrations with pale colors, but maybe I should try and challenge myself and and take only pale pink, pale green and pale blue and make some what artwork with them. What do you think? And the last color is Prussian blue. I have Prussian blue from Holbein, so I'm really curious how how this would look here and is there any difference? So I think what I will do now I will try to check this one too which is dried up. Maybe I can somewhat reactivate it. Let's see together because it's beautiful color. I really like dark greens and this is called black green so we'll see if it's possible to reactivate it. The color is here but maybe I can crush it somehow. Just thinking how. Um, so I don't have like grinder or something. Maybe I can use like a knot or something. <laughs> Making colors with a knot. It's working. <laughs> Who knew that uh, you can get a dried up color back by adding water and <laughs> I'm kind of grinding the color out now. If you ever need to reactivate your dried up acrylic wash, take the chunks, add water, take nuts <laughs> and just grind them. It's working. So this color is actually looking like deep green to be honest, but maybe it was a little bit darker and I just got lighter tone because I used uh, water so maybe that's the fault but yeah look this is workable now <laughs> color mixing with Craigslist um. <laughs> I actually didn't know that this would work so good so now I'm just gonna mix it a little bit because um, I want excess water to go away so the pigment is stronger. Okay, so <laughs> just gonna put this pigment up there now. It's still workable, you know, it's not the worst situation. Okay, so these are how the colors look, look right now. Uh, I swatched 21 color and then I tried to make this one as a color. I also wrote the pigments. These are all really uniquely mixed um, gouache colors. But yeah, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this swatching. I hope this is useful, maybe you are thinking about buying new gouache colors. If you enjoyed watching this part, maybe I will draw something, we'll see. Okay, hey, outro Christiana! So this is the outro part and I wanted to tell that thank you for watching my video and thank you for watching it till the end. I decided to do one special thing each uh, 
each video. So as you know, I am uploading every single week and I decided to do for a whole year. So hopefully I will manage and survive this. I already am, I think six, no, five or four and a half months in. So I haven't skipped a week and I feel I will continue to do it till I reach a year and then I will see how it will be after. But yeah, so far this is like my challenge, but I also, I really like filming videos and I decided what I will do in each end of the video. I'm gonna share um, YouTube creators and also like small channels like mine because I want to share that there are so many interesting artists with like such interesting content and I just want to support them as well so if you like to see my videos you can possibly also check the other ch channel so this week I decided to support Vera Golosova she is one of my friends from Sketchbook Club and I will link her channel down below and I will also, hopefully, I don't know, we'll, we'll put it Veris Golosov's uh, channel up here somewhere or up there somewhere. We'll, I don't know. I don't know how the things work. But yeah, each week at the end, I'm going to promote uh, one of the channels. So yeah. <laughs> and if you're coming uh, to their channel, you can say, oh, I came from Crixis. So Crixis recommended me to you. So I don't know. I just I really want to promote other artists. This is super long outro. I probably should finish it. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, I wish you good day, evening, morning, wherever you are. And see you next Saturday or any other day I upload weekly. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye 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 Hello Grix is here and welcome to this week's video Today I'm gonna review Holbein No not Holbein Turner You thought I'm gonna say Turner? No not really I'm gonna review Holbein Aqua Gouache, as you can see, it's almost empty. I dropped everything. There is only one color. I will review only this color. <laughs> so, <laughs> no other colors. <laughs> I, and I will swatch this color as well. It's a um, pale yellow color. Yep. 